open our doors. So shaitan, he, in, he encourages us to engage in immorality. So before you are married, he wants you to commit adultery. And after you are married, he wants you to commit adultery again. So look at what he does. Before you are married, he puts glasses on you, which no one can see, but there is spectacles. So when you see a person of the opposite sex, you incline towards them based on looks. Based on looks. 99% of the time it's based on looks. Then he tries to tell you, no, she is pious. Look, she's wearing scarf. She is pious. Look, she's wearing scarf. Then you quickly exchange numbers. Then you start communing. This is all shaitan. He wants to sow a seed of a cactus tree. What does that mean? How you started your road was wrong. Then what happens? You end up talking. You say, no, we are only chatting. It's only chat room. No, no. From chat room to this other, I don't know what they call this instant messaging. And what? No, don't worry. She's very, look, she's reminding me of my salah. What do you mean? That is shaitan's plan. <laughs> shaitan's plan from the side. She's reminding me. Are you sure? Make sure you read your salah. Do this. He say, no. How much Quran did you read today? But look who's talking to you. Allahu Akbar. How much Quran you read today? And the idea that you are hooked to that because of something beyond the reminder of Quran. Let's not fool ourselves. So shaitan is fooling us because he comes in disguise. He will come in the disguise of someone who is reminding you to do good. Then what happens? He makes you fall after that. When you fall because you are not married. Oh, it was so good. Hey, I enjoyed. We went out. We had coffee. We did this. We did that. Na'udhu billah. Whatever happened, happened. You say, when are we meeting again? Why? Because shaitan adds spice and pepper and he beautifies things. This happens.